Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper, and yes, I'm on a boat. Today I'm reviewing the uh, Alens HD1 uh, dual band analog and DMR radio. Whoa, it's moving. <laughs> uh, just a boat went by, so. Uh, Alright, so dual band VHF UHF. It's a radio that's been out for some time. Uh, so I'm not going to uh, get into the specifics, you know, the lot of details uh, uh, or the programming because there are many, many videos that do that. Uh, it's not necessary that I go through uh, all that stuff. The question is, is it a good radio for prepping? Uh, that's the uh, question. And I see already uh, very good things about this radio. First, it's waterproof. We're going to test that. It's got good output power, 10 watts, although I don't think that's necessary. I think 5 watts is great, but you know, it's 10 watts. 3000 channels. Uh, VHF is uh, 136 to 174. UHF is 400 to 480 megahertz. It even has encryption, so of course that's illegal, but uh, you know, it's good to have just in case. Although, uh, don't use it. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. Let's see if it will pass my usual test. Well, seems to work just fine. The uh, radio is very good to use on a boat uh, because it's uh, of course watertight uh, and uh, you can you know I can use it to listen to channel 16. I uh, keep it in the cockpit here. It's ready for use and uh, as you can see I'm on the way. Oui, je disais j'ai un HD1, HD1 donc euh, analogue et DMR QSL. QSL, ok, ok, ok. Ah oui, oui, d'accord, oui, oui, c'est déjà, oui, déjà, euh, vous êtes rentré dans le domaine, après, euh, enfin bon, euh, qui est assez euh, récent, quoi, dans les... Euh, ok, ok, oui, je ne sais pas trop comment ça marche, là. Ok, mais après, c'est bon, en tout cas, c'est bon, hein, vous avez une bonne, une, une bonne euh, modulation, euh, le signal, évidemment, le signal, bon, mais ça, hein. Moi, je reçois le montage là, à plus 30 ans. Ça ne me dérange pas que je filme, c'est tellement euh, inhabituel comme truc. <laughs> Merci. So, is it any good for prepping your preppers? And I'd say definitely yes. It's rugged, the battery lasts a pretty long time, it seems. Uh, it's uh, waterproof, that's very important. I wouldn't use any radio that's not waterproof for prepping. And it has DMR and analog. So, uh, it actually replaces two radios, and that's what I really like about it. Now, I wish it had a wideband receiver for broadcast radio, but it doesn't. It does have GPS, however, so if you need to call someone, give them your coordinates, you can get them from the uh, built-in GPS. That's very good. You might not use uh, DMR for uh, prepping if uh, you know going through a repeater, because of course the repeaters are linked through the internet, and assuming the internet would be down, probably the repeater would be down. So, but it would be pretty useful within a group because using DMR, even if you're not using encryption, which the radio does have, uh, it's still pretty private. You're not going to have Joe Schmo <laughs> listening to you on his bowfunk. It's just not going to happen. It's much more private than, uh, you know, regular FM. So for that purpose, definitely, yes, that's very useful to uh, use DMR within a group for, you know, security, ComSec. You can get it. Uh, actually, I have a link for you that I'll put in the uh, description to uh, get it at a pretty good price and very fast shipping. I definitely recommend it. I used it uh, quite a few times. Uh, once in the woods for a couple hours, it was raining. So uh, the radio got soaked, soaked wet and I didn't have any problem. Now the audio uh, sounds a little bit digital, uh, even on uh, analog channels, but it's still pretty good and pretty loud also, uh, very useful. The only thing that I didn't quite like is that the screen uh, when uh, it's very sunny, you have a hard time to uh, see the screen, especially with uh, sunglasses, even non-polarized sunglasses. So you can probably turn it up a little bit. I have to check that in the settings, but uh, you know, color screens like that, nah. What can I say? Uh, it's pretty good uh, radio overall. Uh, I really like it. I'm going to carry it because uh, again, it replaces two of my radios. So <laughs> it's much easier to have one and uh, that does everything. You know, when I lost my uh, Retevis uh, RT3S that was also uh, analog 
and DMR and Digital. I really was at a loss. <laughs> I really regret losing that radio. I left it on my uh, truck, uh, on, my, on the hood of my truck, and I took off. I was in the mountains, and uh, so of course the radio fell off, and I uh, never found it. So I was very happy when I got the uh, Alens uh, HD1. It's uh, slightly bigger uh, than uh, regular radios. Not that much, though. I thought it was going to be uh, larger than that, but uh, it's it's a reasonable size, even though it's it's bigger and a little bit heavier. So that's it for this one, Alens HD1. Go check the link in the description, and until next time, have a good one.